we've got. So this is how we practice it. Just like we did with the pads and the shoots, we can do this in the pad or with the pads, the shoots on shoulders. Um, so you can drill this at really any level of contact during the week. Bag work, we're gonna emphasize how flat we have to step, have the bag holders scoot up and make the adjustments with the pad, all right? So we'll put them, we'll put that bag holder as if he's already a defensive lineman that's taken a step. So we'll move him almost even with the shoulder blades of the offensive lineman. So he's got to work on staying flat. <clears throat> Keep a firm base. Three points of contact. Rib cage, rib cage, rib cage. Where we had this on film and worked, I want you to watch left tackle here. A really good down block. Down blocks are evidence of success. Oop. Evidence of success is when you see the defensive lineman head snap to the side. Okay, that is a good down block. A little high here, but you got to see some refit hands here. By our tackle, refit, keep that driving, okay? Good. In the rib cage. Rib cage, boom. That's a win in our book, okay? Let's watch that again. Third lineman here. Done correctly, guys. It should, it should be illegal. It's good. Okay. So we're getting into the dig blocks. Our digs, the digs are going to be almost primarily used by our tackles, whether we are in a heavy set or whether we are in a balanced set. Our tackles, our dig blocks are where we have to keep B gap clean, okay? We cannot allow people to cross our face, defensive ends to cross our face into B gap. This is gonna turn into a quick step, okay? Almost to pick it up, put it down with your inside leg. So if we've got a five technique, D in, okay? I'm gonna pop our inside foot. I do not want a lot of ground gain. We're gonna pop that inside foot. Load on that step, then we're gonna drive second step. Okay, second step, we're still gonna make um, contact with our hands. Pressure the upfield shoulder, okay? We want contact at the line of scrimmage, and then as we get into our third, fourth, fifth step, we're gonna start flipping our hips into B-gap, widening B-gap while driving. Too many times what we'll have is we'll have this kid, all right, our tackle will pop his inside foot, strike second step, and then wheel his butt into B-gap, which is now no longer clean because we are in our own way, okay? So we whirly bird, we don't want any whirly birds on our digs, okay? We want that contact and then we can widen it as we are driving, as we are driving, okay? So, how we practice it, all right? Partner in a pad, can operate in a shoot, can operate outside of a shoot. We practice this though, dig blocking a five is pretty simple, all right? Where we struggle, the biggest part is down blocking a head up four, okay? So, we dig block that head up four, that's where we're gonna practice, we're gonna make it hard from the beginning. Pop the inside foot, Pressure the upfield shoulder, the inside shoulder, okay? Nose in the armpit. This will probably more often than not require refitting hands frequently, okay? Because he's going to, he's got two options. He's going to keep trying to cross face or he's going to run the loop. If he runs the loop, we can widen with it. That's a good thing in our eyes. But if he's going to keep trying to cross face, we have got to refit that inside hand, okay? Where it worked, 